Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the lectures on natural language processing. The last lectures in NLP, we saw about the definition of NLP, the terminologies associated with it, uh, the use cases and how to work with NLP. We also saw about tokenization and stemming in the last two the lectures. Now we'll be starting with the third uh, like major topic in NLP, which is about stop words removal. So without wasting much of our time on this, let's get started. I will quickly go and fire up my Jupyter notebook and I will open up a, a new notebook. Right. And over here, I would give it the name as top watch. Right. And once this is done, I would import the like the required library, which is an LTK. Once this is done, now it's time to get to the definition of stop words. Uh, so what is a stop word? So stop words are the words uh, on whose removal uh, the sentence meaning actually does not change. So let's suppose uh, like you have a text like uh, Ram goes to an international school, right? So if you even remove the word an, a and an, Ram goes to international school, uh, would the meaning of the sentence change? No, it won't. Uh, similarly, uh, if you have a sentence, let's say the dogs are barking. If you remove the word the, and uh, then the sentence would actually be dogs are barking. Has the meaning of the sentence changed? No, it has not. So stop words are those words on whose removal the meaning of the sentence does not change, right? So basically these are extra words that are just used to provide the grammatically correct sentence, but on whose removal the meaning of the sentence would actually remain the same. So uh, you have a list of stop words in NLTK, like stop words removal is basically, is basically a pre-processing kind of thing in NLP we generally do uh, to actually like remove the stop words because we know that removing them won't even matter. So it would be computationally like um, beneficial for us and the process would actually get faster. So you have a predefined list of corpus slash stop words uh, uh, provided to you by NLTK library and I will give you a look at it. So we have to import like from nltk.corpus nltk.corpus import stop words right and once this is done i would print the stop words dot words over here english right and i would print all of the stop words for you so you see like these are the stop words we do have like I is a stop word, me is a stop word, my is a stop word. Similarly, A and the, these all are the stop words. But if or, because removing them actually does not change the meaning of the sentence. Uh, I should say does not drastically change the meaning of the sentence, right? So we would actually have a look at like how stop word removal basically works. So I would give, a, like I would write a text over here. Let's say the text is, Right. So let's suppose I have a sentence that the 2018 FIFA World Cup was held in Russia. France won the tournament and Croatia were the semi-finalist. Okay. So here you have some stop words like you have the stop words, you have and stop words. Again, you have the and the. So these stop words should basically get removed once like we have like removed, like once we have worked with the stop words. Right. So again, how would we remove stop words from this sentence? It's very easy to remove stop words. I hope you have now gotten an idea from our previous lecture uh, where we did stemming. So yes, the obvious answer is that we have to like first tokenize the complete uh, sentence using word tokenization. Then we have to check uh, for the stop words, like uh, if that word exists in the uh, set of stop words or not. And if it does not exist, we have to put them in a list. So for that, I would first make a set of stop words, which would be stop words is equals to set stop words dot words english so this would basically create a set of stop words for me and once this is done what i'll be doing is i will be importing tokenization from nlt dot tokenize import word tokenization right or word tokenize so let's suppose result is equals to word tokenize then followed by text Right. So now we have tokenized all of the following words. And now what we have to do is that I will create one uh, list, which is known as final. And now I will iterate over the result list. I will check if that particular word exists in the stop words or not. If it does not exist, I will just append it into the final. Otherwise, I won't do anything. So for I in 
result if i not in stop words final dot append i followed by final dot append a blank space and i would run this piece of code and now what i'll be doing is i would be joining the sentence dot join and final so this is the result that you have the 2018 fifa world cup held russia france tournament croatia semi-finalist so what happened is that like now you would say that there are basically some errors over here right like uh the uh, number first thing this the did not actually like did not got removed why uh i will tell you the reason then 2018 fifa world cup was uh do you think was is a like stop word i guess it's there in the set so let us just find if was is a stop word or not so yes was is a stop word so was has been removed held in is again a stop word so it has been removed one is a stop word as well so let us see if this is in the set or not so yes one is a stop word so one is also removed the tournament and is again a stop word croatia semi-finalist was and the again are removed but you see this the has not been removed why it has not been removed because if you see the the present over here is in like in the is in the small uh, form right is in small letters and not the capital letters and for that to work we would actually require the complete sentence to be in small words or like to lowercase characters and then we could actually like use stop words removal so what i would be doing is i would be writing text is equals to text dot lower right and i would be running this over here again and now i could again run this piece of code so it tells me set has no attributes uh words maybe some fault over here let us run it over here again what i would be doing is maybe better i would actually restart the kernel and run it so now uh on rerunning this over here again you see now the small the has like gone uh, is not present so 2018 fifa world cup held russia france tournament croatia semi-finalist yes because one was actually like uh, a stop word over here hence uh this is not the exact meaning what we expected these are some kind of anomalies which are present in natural language processing but like you could actually like there are certain ways to actually neglect this i could have written if i not in stop words and i not one so you could actually just append it so depends on this but uh like uh, you could actually work around with that but i basically hope you understand like what stop word removal is and how do you work with stop words so stop words are basically present in different languages as well you have a stop words for english i hope i would end this lecture over here with the hope that you have understood what stop word is and how do we work with stop words removal i will see you in the next one thank you